Hi, this is Bill from Farland Classic Restoration doing another walk around on one of our cars. This particular one is a 1965 XKE Roadster. Everybody recognizes that uh, XKE Series 1s with their glass covered headlights and several other signature items like the smaller tail lights and toggle switch dashes. This particular one was the first year of the later part of the first series, meaning it has the 4.2 liter motor, synchro mesh first gear, and more comfortable seats. We have the uh, Jaguar Heritage Certificate for this car that confirms that it was uh, sold new in the US, so it's a full US spec car. Uh, the color opalescent maroon was the car's original color and all the black soft trim. So that is as the car was built. We've also confirmed that the chassis, the block, the cylinder head, all of the numbers are matching as everyone likes. So we have a genuine car here. <clears throat> it's had a, two restorations during its life. The most recent one was about 10 years ago, but you can see the car still looks exceptionally good. The uh, bumpers were re-chromed at the time that the car was painted, and the interior has been more recently replaced. All new leather, all new carpets, boot cover and convertible top are all done within the last few years. It's common practice when a vintage car gets restored for folks to focus on the cosmetics, just how it looks. This particular car, like most really good restorations, did that, of course, but also paid particular attention to how it worked. Things like when the interior was being redone, the instruments were sent out to be cleaned, adjusted, lubricated. All of that works. In fact, this is the only XKE of my experience where the clock actually works and keeps good time. You can see it has the correct wood rim steering wheel in it and even still has its original old style ballpunk radio. There's been no holes cut in door panels to stick in extra speakers or any other kind of aftermarket stuff. Speaking of making the car operate as well as it looks, let's look under here where the motor is. It really does make things operate. When the car was completely disassembled, the engine was rebuilt, the transmission was rebuilt, new clutch, the differential was rebuilt, and we have receipts for all of these things. This isn't just a lot of talk. The, uh, I mentioned earlier, it does still have its original cylinder head, original engine block. All of the critical components like that are matching. And make sure that you pay attention to the beautiful porcelain finish on those exhaust manifolds. Usually with these cars with use, that porcelain cracks and flakes off and they look rusty. Those were obviously just recently redone. One of the best attributes of this car is the collection that it has been in for the last 10 years, the car saw very little use. And unfortunately, poor fuel that had been left in the car did its damage, which led to it sloughing off the coating inside the fuel tank, which then got up into the carburetors and then caused a lot of the valves to stick in the head. So just four months ago, the head has been removed all new valves, a complete balance job done on all the uh, cams and springs, the carburetors completely rebuilt, new fuel tank, all new fuel lines. So now the car actually does run and drive as well as it did. We have receipts for well over $8,000 for that work that has been done like 20 miles ago. After all that talk about having receipts for the car, we thought it'd be a good idea to show you just how completely documented this car is. We've never had one with this level of depth. The car's only had three owners, so all of this represents service work, maintenance work that has been done over the last 40 years. We have original owner's books and warranty cards for the car, the original toolkit, the jack kit with the uh, knockoff hammer, <clears throat> a parts catalog, and a factory shop manual. All of these things come with it. And under the floor, there's another new chrome Dunlop wire wheel, just like the ones on the car, with a matching Dunlop tire, like the ones on the car. Well, I hope you enjoyed our walk around of our 65 E-Type. If you have any questions, we'd certainly love to hear from you. We've enjoyed presenting the car to you, and just as a reminder, it's the only one you'll find anywhere with a functioning clock 
and a genuine Austin Powers Union Jack car cover that comes with the car. Thank you.